The Helpful Alien presents Flash Tutorial. Salutations and greetings, filthy humans. Today we're going to be learning how to use the Bone Tool to make animations in Flash CS 5.5. We'll also be using several other concepts to make an animation from start to finish. Step, Step 1. Know, know what you're doing. doing. A rough guide that lets you know exactly what your characters are doing helps immensely when creating a complex animation. A script or a storyboard can go a lot further than you might think. For this animation, I want Captain Triangle to walk three steps, pause for a bit, then punch the Mona Lisa. Step 2. Draw a character. You might want to do this on paper first, just to know what to make when you start up Flash. It doesn't have to be one of Da Vinci's finest, just a sketch will do. Once you've started up Flash, you can adjust the stage settings over here. When you're finished with that, you can recreate your drawing on the stage. Flash lets you draw with objects and shapes by turning on and off object drawing. You can draw both with the line and shape tools over here, and edit the colors and line thicknesses over here. The selection tool lets you select objects easily, and edit shapes easily, as well as make straight lines curvy. The transform tool lets you reshape and resize objects, and the subselection tool lets you move the corners of an object around to make any shape you want. Make sure that you declare each individual moving part as its own symbol by right-clicking and selecting Create Symbol like so. If your character is human like this one, you should include a pelvis, torso, head, and at least two segments for each arm and leg. Do not use the same symbol twice, even if they only need to look the same. I'll explain why in a bit. All of the symbols that you create will appear in the Symbols library, so if you need to edit them, you can do so there, or just double-click them. Once you've completed your character, turn it into its own symbol. Step 3. Draw an armature. An armature is basically just a skeleton, where you connect the joints of your character together. There are two ways to use bones in Flash. Shape animation and symbol animation. Symbol animation is used for more complex skeletons, so we'll use that today. Start from the pelvis and drag a bone to the chest, then the head, then to all of its other joints. By right-clicking on individual body parts and then selecting the Arrange option, you can change the distance that each part seems from you. Easy peasy, squeeze the lemon. Step, Step 4. Make, make poses. poses. If you've never used Flash before, this down here is the timeline, and each of these slots is a frame. Right now they're all empty, but if I go to Frame Far Out Here and Insert Frame, now we've got plenty of frames to work with. You can see down here that the frame rate is 24 frames per second. So 240 frames will equal 10 seconds, more than enough for our little animation. Right now all the frames are exactly the same, but if I select a frame and change the armature, then Flash will generate all the frames in between. I said before that I wanted Captain Triangle to walk three steps, but walking is actually a pretty complicated sequence of poses. Basically you need a contact, down, pass and up pose for the front and back leg. You'll need to move the whole structure up and down a few times to do this so highlight the whole thing and use the arrow keys to do so. Also, highlight bones and use the pin tool to fix joints in place. Once you've made all your poses, you can press enter to test the animation. If the speeds of some of your movements are a little too fast or too slow, you can select the poses and move them around in your timeline. Step 5. Control Easy. Some of your movements might still be a bit jittery or mechanical, so you can use the easing function to control their acceleration. You can click on the pose where a movement starts to select its easing. A simple ease set to 100 starts and decelerates. A negative 100 starts slow and accelerates. A stop and start ease set to 100 slows down then starts up again. Set to negative 100, it speeds up and slows down again. Step, Step 6. Move, move character. character. Now let's get out of this symbol and back into scene 1. Now we create another layer that's below and therefore behind Captain Triangle to put some objects in. Let's also create a background layer. We know that he walks three steps in 40 frames, so after we've put some empty frames into all these layers, we insert a keyframe in his layer at 40 frames. At this keyframe, we move Captain Triangle forward three steps. When that's done, we right click on the frames in between to insert a tween. This will generate all the frames we need. Press Command Enter to test your movie. If your character moves too far or not far enough in each step, you can move him around in the end frame of your tween. Step 7. Object Interactions Each object that you're going to play with should have its own layer. This will be our layer for the Mona Lisa. 
Import the Mona Lisa to your stage and it should appear both there and in your library. Now adjust the picture to the right size and shape, and once that's done, we can go back into the Captain Triangle symbol and check that the picture's in the right place to meet his fist. Now we can see that his fist touches the painting at frame 70, so we can delete all the frames in the Mona Lisa layer after 70. If we run this now, we can see Captain Triangle punch the painting just as it vanishes. To make Captain Triangle's hand actually interact with the painting, we have to go into that symbol. So go into the character symbol, then the hand symbol. You might want to zoom in. He will create two new layers, one above his hand and one below it. Add some frames to all these layers and keyframes to the new layers at frame 71. In either of the keyframes, paste the Mona Lisa. Right now it's in object form, but to edit it, it needs to be in shape form. So to break the object, press Command B. By now you should have locked off the fist layer to stop yourself from accidentally editing it. If not, do so now. Put the painting in the right place and cut and paste one half of it into the other free layer, so that it looks like his fist has gone right through it. Draw in some paper tears to make it look more real. In the full animation, the painting will disappear when Captain Triangle hits it, and then reappear attached to one hand at the exact same time. This is why you should never use the same symbol twice. Doing it that way means that the painting would have appeared in both hands. Step, Step 8. Make, make a, a face. face. Creepy no-face children from Doctor Who don't make very good cartoon characters. So we're going to give Captain Triangle a face. In the symbol of his head, we draw on a nose and a mouth. But since I want him to blink a few times, I make a new layer for the eyes. He first blinks when he stops in front of the painting at frame 43, and then again when he feels remorse at frame 88. Let's add some frames into these layers, and some keyframes into those two places, and five frames after each of them. In the five frame gaps between the keyframes, we can now draw his closed eyes. Also, after the second blink, I'll make him look sad. And step, step 9, nine finishing, finishing touches. touches. This just entails adding a nice background, refining some of the drawings, and getting rid of unnecessary frames. Once that's all done, you can just sit back and enjoy your animation. I hope you like this tutorial, and enjoy your own animations. Bye!